we start obviously I don't want to air personal business um, that's private um, we were speaking last year can't give you really time frames and rekindled at misfits I actually know Philly so at least the people that are watching this can have something based on someone that actually knows him and not people speculating and just know him from seeing him on the internet and girth and turf Philly is someone that I know and get on with right okay I'm not here to say things did or didn't happen all I'm here to say to tell you even is my side of the story my experiences with Philly made me feel comfortable um, I when we rekindled um, this year there was actually I'm gonna make a point of saying this there was a point where he was like if you don't want to do if you don't want to do anything if you don't want to bear in mind we'd spoken last year we, we'd been um, seen each other last year and even then he was like um if you if you don't want to do anything if you're not if you're not comfortable we don't have to i just want to make a point of he's never made me feel any pressure and i think until we've got definitive answers a question i'm not discrediting what's happened i don't know the ins and outs and probably neither do you um i'm just here to give a balanced side of the story you know what i mean just give you someone that's actually ha knows him um my side i don't owe him anything either you know he's not asking me to do this no one's pressuring me to do this i just want to just say let's all just calm down for a second until we know all the ins and outs um and my personal experience is, is that he was fine with me just as shocked as every single one of you is i can't lie i don't know anything that you don't literally it was absolutely not for me to see um, obviously, I don't want to um, say anything because I don't want to get like, held in contempt of court and shit and you know, you know what I mean, I ain't seen all this evidence and all stuff like that so I, I, I don't want to say anything, do you know what I'm saying, but yeah, let's get it out of the way. I ain't, I ain't follow up and shit like that. I don't even know, bro. So when you get when you get extradited, that usually means they have some shit on you. Extradited, that means they put you on a plane and brought you to a place to get tried. That means they usually had some shit. I hope it's not true, but... Young Philly, what the <gasps> fuck? This is putrid. I have some tea on that, by the way. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> I had a friend who was at Promised Land, well-known influencer. They saw Young Philly at the festival, and they messaged me saying, it's no surprise that Young Philly is getting charged from what I saw at the music festival. Total creep. Uh, they uh. said to me they saw some stuff from behind the scenes, that this is no shock to them. These people get idolized, these people get put up on a pedestal. They think they're invincible. They have unlimited money, yeah. fame, and that doesn't ever exclude someone from being charged or being a horrible person. We make the wrong people <laughs> famous. So the club, so the club was literally in town. I lived in town, so me and this other girl, we were in the club where Philly was, and as soon as she left, my friend that was gonna get ready to go see him, as soon yeah. as she left, Philly started like whining on some other girl. Even though all that night, like, she, he was, like, you know, telling, I don't know how I say it, telling the, my friend, like, oh, you know, come back with me, come back with me. Um, Wait, but were they together or not? They, no, they're not, no, they weren't together. Like, they just okay. used to see each other. So every time they go to a club together, yeah. like, they see each other on the same night, they'd always leave together. Like, always. Okay. Always, yeah. Um, so anyways, so that happened. And as soon as I, I messaged her, I told her, like, look, he's literally whining some, on some other girl. She comes back within, like, five, ten minutes because I didn't live too far. And... Next minute, he's messaging her saying, oh, come to the car, come to the car, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. And he's literally messaging her, like, abuse, like, saying, like, I'm, I'm leaving you, I don't care, like, you know. And so, I've got a video of this, by the way. So, we go to the back of the club, um, me and my friend, and then the girl that's going back with Philly, like, she gets in his car, and he's literally shouting at her, saying, like, no, get out, get out, I don't want you here anymore, like, you're taking your time, whatever, whatever. Um, so... 
anyways, later that night, it was around like three in the morning, she goes to his hotel, she rings me and she says, she's like whispering, she's saying like, oh, like, Siren, can you, can you come like get an Uber from me? Like whatever. And I was like, are you okay? And she said, no, like, you know, I need to go. And she's like, actually, no, wait, one minute, one minute. Anyways, so later that morning, she told me what actually happened. So she wanted to leave around three in the morning when she called me. But then he apparently, she said, oh, you're either staying and take, take your clothes off or you're leaving. So she stayed because they had history and she just felt like, you know, he had all this power. Like she felt so gullible in the moment. Um, and when she, she told me that story, like eight in the morning, like she came literally from my, to my place, makeup on, everything, like from the night before she was, she was right, like, I want to take this time to apologize to young Philly, to apologize to any of his friends, his family, anyone associated with him. And I would also like to apologize to any rappers in the UK who has seen this and has been affected and now feel some type of way about us females in Australia. I deeply apologize. We are not like that. There are certain individuals that like to take things too far and it gives the rest of us a bad name. I truly and sincerely apologize to all of you guys and on behalf of everyone in Australia that has sense we are sorry so the media is concealing who this female is so everyone's like who is this mysterious female this mysterious female is miss emma burns the one and only stripper and sex worker round of applause for miss emma burns Yasharmuta. so why am i so annoyed it's because emma burns friends have come out and they have exposed her Emma went to the hotel with young Philly and they both had a mutual agreement. When you have a mutual agreement, babes, it's consensual. So there's no rape there. It is consensual. Yes, if they, you know, take it a bit further and stuff, then, okay, yeah, it is a bit too much and charges can be pressed. But it was a mutual agreement. Emma Burns had then texted her friends and set one of her friends, sorry, and told her friend how much of a good time she really had and that she was ready to go home. Could her friend book her an Uber? Remember that. Her friend should book her the Uber, but she's a stripper. Please remember these two things, okay? Because we're going to be very logic here. Her friend should book her the Uber. When her friend was going to book her the Uber, she then told her friend, oh, actually, I don't need it anymore. That doesn't sound like someone who's being sexually assaulted, Emma. That sounds like someone who's having a goddamn good time. A goddamn good time. Because if you were being sexually assaulted, you are in a hotel where there are hundreds of people on the same level. You could scream. You could text a friend because it seems your phone was working really fine, Miss Mams. You could run down to reception and tell reception to call the police if your life was at any day was in, sorry, any danger or there was any threat of your safety. Those are three things you could have done. Screaming would have probably been the best one because I can guarantee you there would have been someone next door because we know how hotels in Australia is booked, packed and busy. Okay. Emma, you are a sex worker. You are also a stripper. There is nothing wrong with that because if I could shake my ass and get a little coin, I will too. We've got some big news to share about a well-known online personality, Young Philly. If you're a fan of his, you'll probably know him for his upbeat content, comedy sketches, and music. But right now, he's in the news for something much more serious. He's been accused of some pretty serious crimes while on tour in Australia. We're going to look at the details of what's going on, the allegations, and where the case is at the moment. So, let's get into it. Young Philly, whose real name is Andres Felipe Valencia Barrientos, is a 29-year-old British YouTuber, rapper, and entertainer. He's got over 1.8 million followers on YouTube and has really made a name for himself in the UK entertainment scene. He's known for his humor and music, but things have taken a dark turn recently. While he was on tour in Australia, performing in several cities, Young Philly was arrested after allegations of sexual assault came to light. The incident in question is said to have taken place in Perth on 28 September 2024, after one of his shows. The police say he's accused of sexually assaulting a woman in her 20s in a hotel room after his performance at Bar One Nightclub. 
the charges are pretty serious. He's been charged with four counts of rape, three counts of assault causing bodily harm, and one count of choking. The police allege that he restricted the woman's breathing by applying pressure to her neck during the assault. These are pretty serious allegations, and if he's found guilty, it could have a huge impact on his life. Thing like me, and so many people are like, I cannot believe it. I absolutely can. I so can. Like, I always got weird vibe from him. I knew it. I knew it. And as well, like, a lot of these artists will go somewhere, not their own country, like, you know, Australia, think they can do what they want, and then fly back home to their normal life in the UK and kind of evade the law. I just, honestly, I knew it. So young Philly has been arrested and women are not shocked. We're not shocked. Because you know why? Because we've been telling you that small gestures, types of language, jokes you make, we can tell where that leads to. And when we call it out, men often like to jump us, gaslight us, and tell us we're trying to ruin a man's career, ruin a man's life with these allegations of things they've never done. But we know that if this happens, it can lead to this. But unfortunately for men, language and these jokes that no one really laughs at, except weirdos, is not enough. Maybe it's our defense mechanism and protection mechanism that kicks in, but usually it's right because when it was Kiki Palmer, we said the same thing and everyone jumped us and then we were correct. Now, John Philly, are we shocked? Most of the girlies are not. We're not. We've been saying this guy's weird. Yeah, I can talk to you in private one day. But did you fall for me or this life? Ooh. I know, I know, I know you get a buzz from this. But are you gonna be here? So not crazy. <laughs> choking her? What the fuck? You no, trying to kill her? Not like a choke. It was more like a. <laughs> know what I mean? What? What's he saying? Yeah. I know this bit. I know this bit. Wait for this bit. Wait for this bit. I love you. 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 There's nothing about you. Yes, my peoples, like everyone, I've heard the reports coming out of Australia. Um, whilst I understand many of you want my reaction on it, um, as this is an ongoing court case, I hope you guys can understand that I can't and won't be commenting on it publicly. Um, so, yeah, I've just come on here to basically let you know the reasons as to why I can't. Love. Popular musician and YouTuber from the UK, known as Young Philly, has been extradited from Queensland to WA, accused of serious sexual assault allegations following an incident in Perth. That's right, Lara, and it's serious. He's facing four counts of sexual penetration without consent, three counts of assault occasioning bodily harm, and one count of impeding a person's normal breathing or circulation. Detectives say the 29-year-old man sexually assaulted a woman in her 20s in his Perth hotel room after he performed an event in Hillary's on Saturday, September 28. The man, a well-known UK DJ, Andre Felipe Valencia Barrentos, also known as Young Philly, was arrested in Brisbane and taken to Perth overnight under police guard. He'll face Perth Magistrates Court today and Lara detectives are calling for anyone with further information about this incident or other incidents to call Crime Stoppers. Now this makes a lot of sense to me because I've seen like podcast clips of him talking about how he talks to women really badly <laughs> and like for clarification I don't like I really I didn't take anything to heart I don't want anyone to be like oh my god what a horrible guy so he, we're like exchanging DMs back and forth I was 20 yeah at this point yeah I was 20 um and then he like finds my YouTube videos and he's like sending me pictures of myself in my videos like telling me he didn't like what I was wearing or like he didn't how I like how I looked in that video and then like I just I can't remember I should say I had a girlfriend mm. hypothetically yeah and I know one of her biggest insecurities was her weight yeah mm. and she showed me a red dress and she showed me a blue dress yeah I'm not saying this is good how I am I need to work on it she showed me a red dress and a blue dress and I knew in the blue dress she looked a bit fat but she really liked the red dress more I would actually say to her baby look a bit fat in that blue dress Right. Because do you know what? Do you know why I would, well, my train of thought, I do believe it's wrong though. But the only reason I'd say that is because I don't want her to now wear this one because she didn't hear her insecurity in that one. Do you get what I'm saying? Or maybe, may, I just need to work on. He was arrested in Brisbane on 8th October, just as he was due to perform the final show of his Australian tour. After his arrest, he was extradited back to Perth, 
where he appeared in court on 10 October. Despite the seriousness of the charges, Jung Philly was granted bail. There were, however, a number of restrictions attached. He has to stay within Western Australia, report to the police daily, and he's not allowed to contact the alleged victim or discuss the case on social media. He also had to hand over his passport, so he can't leave the country. His bail was set at 100,000 Australian dollars, which is about 67,400 US dollars. The prosecutors were against bail because they thought he might try to leave the state, or even the country, but the court decided he could be released on those strict conditions. Young Philly hasn't made any public comments about the case yet, and his legal team, led by Seamus Rafferty, has also stayed quiet for now. At this stage, the case is still developing, and there's a lot we don't know. Given the seriousness of the allegations, it's likely that the public and media will be following this case closely. What are your thoughts on this case? It's always tricky when these kinds of accusations come out, especially against public figures that a lot of people look up to. What do you think? Should young Philly have been granted bail with those conditions? Or should the court have been stricter? Let me know what you think in the comments below and make sure to like and subscribe if you want to stay updated on this story and others like it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.